Games Workshop are bringing out so many cool models, but they're so expensive and they're selling them as limited release, so I have to buy them straight away. My pile of shame is just going to keep on growing. There must be a solution to this. I must be able to turn to another company. Hi guys, it's Elba here and welcome back to another video. So, recently, Games Workshop have been getting a lot of bad press to how they are coming across towards people in the hobby. Now, there are many reasons to this. One reason is that a lot recently they are pressuring and uh, trying to stop content creators like just big YouTubers from posting their content on Warhammer as they want to be like the most dominant company so they just want to be posting their own content no one else doing it and the content you can watch from them is content you have to pay for so they're making this bad name on themselves and it's coming across like they're just doing all of this for the money and as we all know Games Workshop loves our money they'll do anything to get it even if we've just earned a little bit of money they will still want to take it from us because the models they offer are just awesome but the company in general not that great which is why today I'm going to be giving you um, which is why today I'm going to be giving you guys some alternatives to the big father company Games Workshop now there are many different companies out there all with their own ranges of different models all with their own rules, their own law, everything like that. Um, for example, Star Wars Legion. I really want to get into that because I love Star Wars. I've got, um, actually, one sec. A few moments later. Well, yeah, Star Wars. I've been watching a lot of it lately. Um, Star Wars Rebels and um, Bad Batch. And I've actually got some of the Bad Batch uh, Lego figures. Um, well, yeah, I would really like to start getting into that Star Wars Legion. But there is one other company I will name, and that is Mantic Games. Now, collect that. I love Mantic Games. I've got a couple of Mantic stuff even on the shelves here. And all these companies, including Mantic, are so well supported with expansions, new stuff, and they'll support you as a hobbyist, unlike, um, yeah, unlike other companies. So yeah, Mantic. Now I've been collecting Mantic for over a year now, and I've got to say, the company is awesome, and I'm so glad I found out about it, because it's just so affordable. And what I mean by affordable, it's not cheap, like the stuff isn't cheap, like the quality of the models is like rushed it's not the quality of the models is really really good and the pricing is very reasonable so you can play the bigger scale games um, there's lots of different types of games but um, let's say um, a Kings of War this is a Magic fantasy range you can play the big scale game Kings of War where the box sets you get are like army sets and they're ranging from about yeah about hundred pounds or you can play the smaller skirmish scale game called Vanguard and they're more smaller, shortened, quicker games where you can get little warband sets and they're costing you around £20 and you get about 60 miniatures in each one on average. And one other little thing I noticed today when I was looking at both websites because I was looking for stuff for Christmas on Games Workshop and of course looking at Mantic as well and the way the websites have been displayed, Mantic's I feel is a lot more organised and yeah obviously comparing this to Games Workshop, a much bigger company, yeah, the organisation in the website is a lot better and I know it's completely irrelevant to what I'm on about, um, but little things like that just show that Mantic is a great company. But yeah, now I'm just going to tell you about um, different um, games that the Mantic offers you because I've got quite a couple of boxes down here, some have been opened and some haven't been opened yet and they're all... Um, from different types of games you can get and like I already mentioned Kings of War so we might as well start with that like I said Kings of War is a uh, Mantic's fantasy range and I've got a couple of these warband um, box sets these are for the Vanguard games so smaller scale games as you can see this warband set here you just use this uh, warband um, 
set in your game. You get 40 miniatures in this one. These guys are goblins. Um, awesome. And then I've um, got another one here. This is uh, the Abyssal. Uh, 15 miniatures there. These are a little bit like um, Chaos, that the very demonic uh, looking dudes. And I've got um, some Ratkin. Um, as you can see, 16 miniatures in total. And about, I'd say they're about 20, 25, 20, 30 quid, something like that. So, pretty cheap box sets. Um, so yeah, that is um, the Kings of War, the fantasy stuff. And there's so many different armies you can choose from. There's like undead, um, elves, dwarves, the demonic version of the dwarves, which is the abyssal dwarves. There's, like I said, goblins and stuff, or orcs as well. And the good thing about the orcs, which I will show you in a second when I show you a couple of the miniatures, the orcs are very different and they're unique in their own way, which is good. Uh, they haven't been copied from other companies like Warhammer. As well, there is a sci-fi range. This is Warpath. Now, the Warpath is the bigger scaled um, games. Like This is one of the um, just uh, big booster box sets where you can just get all the models you need in one box set and that cost me a hundred pounds for all of those bo uh, all of those models or you can play the smaller scale game called dead zone where you get um the smaller booster box sets and they cost like 60, 60 pounds maybe for maybe cheaper 40 pounds and then we have going back to the um, fantasy we have dungeon saga now this is a board game just a, a like a classic dungeon crawler board game and the great thing about this, which I love, is that it's made for everyone, really. I play this with my family. My dad is the only person who really follows the hobby. He's been doing it for ages, Warhammer, and now Mantic. Uh, but my mum and my sister, they don't know anything really about the hobby, but they still enjoy the game a lot. So we literally play this game like it's Monopoly, like it's just a normal family game, which is so good because Obviously, it's going to draw more attention to more people. And then, that is like the ma the the base that that's like the base um, box set that you need to buy. But then there's little expansions, which is really cool. This is one of the expansions. I've got um, all of the expansions, which I haven't actually opened all of them yet. Uh, but here is one of them, and it will just add on. You continue with the storyline, and it's very cool. And then, Mantic do this thing called Terrain Crates. Um, now these ones are more specific um, like pieces, like it shows you at the front and then it shows you at the back um, what's going to be inside, but they make other terrain crates where you just get random um, pieces ranging from like £1 to £100 and you just open the box there and you can use some of those for maybe miniatures, some for ter uh, like just terrain or scenery and yeah. Well, this is just one of the other smaller terrain crates. You can see what's inside there. Now I'm going to show you some of the miniatures, but before I do that, I just want to say something about the miniatures is that when you're playing Mantic, for example, when you're playing Dungeon Saga, you don't have to use models um, from Mantic. Like, obviously, you're going to use the models that you've been given in Dungeon Saga, but you can use add ons. Like, let's say you wanted more skeletons or more uh, just enemies in general you can use other miniatures um, and what i do is that i got some of these um like i don't even know what they are because i don't know anything about age of sigma but they are from age of sigma and i got them in like these little issue things that you got like a year ago two years ago and i never used them so i decided to um use them as um dungeon saga miniatures i rebased them and now they look literally part of the game it's really cool and not even in the actual mantic um, games and rules you can go to um, like Warhammer and I can play Space Marines versus Plague I could use the rules from Mantic and somehow work out a way I can play Plague versus Space Marines like there's no like barrier there like no one's gonna tell you off from Mantic um, but yeah that's the, the cool thing about it you have like a freedom of using other miniatures that you own and not putting them to waste so now I'll just show you a couple of my miniatures from Mantic, just give you a little scan so you can have a look at them. Um, so yeah, just get into that.
So guys, that is the end of today's video. I hope you did enjoy it. That was a look at some of the options you can choose from, from Mantic and all the variations from Mantic and how it is a good alternative to the big grandfather games workshop. I think this company is great. I've been collecting it, like I said, for quite a while now. And if you haven't already, you probably should start collecting from Mantic if you are in um, some sort of modeling hobby, because it is great. Uh, but yes guys, if you did enjoy today's video, please remember to leave a like on the video. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and uh, press the little bell next to the subscribe button because then you'll, you'll, you'll be able to see when I post, basically. You'll, you'll get a little notification on your phone or uh, laptop, computer, TV maybe. You'll get a little notification when I upload, like this video. So I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.